Hello Genesis Project families. Hi Genesis Project family. So we are about ready to hit the road. Right. Why don't you tell them where we're heading and what's going on now? So approximately one week ago we heard about a family who had lost everything, all the earthly possession in a house fire um, that occurred in St. Mark's. All right, and up in the uh, in the village of Victoria. Victoria, which, if you remember from previous videos, there was three homes that we have um, come alongside, and in the village of Victoria as well. So we're going back up to that same area. Yes, yes. Um, and a lot of times, persons ask me how we find out about you know families in need. One, mm -hmm. word of mouth, and two. You know, I always think that we need to be secret agents for Christ, right? Mm. So we're supposed to be on the lookout to um, to see who we could bless, who we yeah. could come alongside, who is in need, and, and that's what we do. Yep. Um, so we saw um, the house fire uh, um, on Facebook, Yep. right? Someone posted it. A little it. news mm -hmm. is all it takes, really. Yes, exactly. And um, I knew someone who lived within that area, so I contacted her, and that is how, you know, we made yes. The connection um but we were thankful that um because um we are um linked with sgu a lot of the students when they're leaving they donate their pots and pans and clothes and shoes and stuff like that yep. so things we were that able they can't take back to the yes. states with them mm -hmm. and some of the things that they cannot sell yeah. so we were able to take um some of those items like the household items and and yes. take it to the family and um at least that is what we will be doing, taking it to the family yeah. and then we also will be carrying care packages um, to the family and a uh, few days ago I put out that we need um, shoes and, and school uniforms and we were able to um, get that due to donations from two of our friends. Yes, financial donations and we want to really thank Candy and Isaac yes. for their amazing hearts. They Within 24 hours they had responded to that need and um, had had made that uh, become a reality for this family. So Candy and Isaac, we thank you. And yes. we are getting ready to go deliver these. We've got some special guests going with us. Yes, who we really have. So Grenadian Gift Give Back, which is a nonprofit uh, organization. Nonprofit organization here in Grenada, mm -hmm. kind of like us, um, comprised of some of the students. Mm -hmm. here in Grenada. Yeah, they put together this nonprofit organization. Yes, and um, just uh, we were familiar with a lot of them from a lot of the uh, the people in Grenada Give Back through CSA, through the church that we attend. Right, so Christian we, Students Association. Yes, so we're excited to, uh, to partner with them and uh, bring them along for this uh, amazing, exciting ride. Yes. So it have a scripture that I felt, you know, near and dear to my heart, that I felt the Holy Spirit place in my heart. Um, and it's taken from Matthew, Matthew 25, um, 35 to um, 40. And it goes, and I'm paraphrasing, right? Um, For I was hungry and you give me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Whatever you do or whatever you did for the for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. And you Amen. know, it is important that we are our brother's keeper. You know, yeah. the greatest commandment is love God and, and the second greatest commandment is, is love. Love your neighbor. Yes, love man. So I know that a lot of persons who might be looking at this video might be like you know well they do not have this platform you know um or they don't know where to start or they don't have the finances right the thing is we plan we are planning to come alongside this family and we don't have money either you know we are a christian based nonprofit organization that we depend on your donation we depend on the goodness of persons have you know and and obviously god um to guide us and, and to provide so we go out there and we you know send messages you know tell them that we'll be praying for them pray with them you know yep. give them a bible give them that care package because you know we always give a care package you know things like that you know shows people that you love them and yep. that you are um, coming alongside them during the most difficult time in their life because this is difficult you know to lose everything yes in with like a four children minutes. and yeah, yeah. 
yeah gone yeah and the youngest is is two years old the oldest is eight you know so there is um a lot of need so um this scripture as i said was uh, i felt placed on my heart and i wanted to share it with you all um yeah so we will see you all well enjoy the rest of the video i should say and bye, bye. <laughs> okay so this is the home that is burnt as you can see everything that was burnt everything but we are thankful that nothing no lives were lost even though material things were lost and we do have two students from SU from Grenada Give Back that is here with us that we will introduce you to them shortly all right so guys your first time out with us so what do you think about this seeing all this destruction behind us it's definitely very heartbreaking but it's so incredible just to see the family so happy with smiles yeah. on their faces still in the midst of this, um, their trouble it's so mm -hmm. amazing. yeah so um sarah why did you want to come out with us today you know we started grenade to give back just to give back to the community and getting to see everyone and be hands-on it's just really amazing mm -hmm. so you guys are doing something so great and we're just happy to be a part oh we are happy to have you guys <laughs> here today um, I obviously have heard a lot about like the Genesis Project and stuff through CSA on campus and um, so getting to work alongside you guys is really cool just to like see you guys in action and like to partner with us like she said with Grenada Give Back and just like to spread light to people around us as well as especially the love of Jesus and like she said seeing just like their joy that they still have from this is something that's empowering to me because like yeah. I probably wouldn't be that way in this situation. And, so, yeah, I'm thankful for the opportunity to get to come out with you guys and mm -hmm. to experience the give back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. It is yeah. awesome to have you all. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So guys, hopefully we will be coming here next week and help them clean up for their, ho their home. Um, because that's what they want to do, clean up here so that hopefully that they could rebuild soon. So we're praying that next week, God's willing, we will be able to do that for this family. Good morning, Genesis Project family. Good morning, all. Good to see you again. We are on the road well we're about ready to take off this yes. morning yes we are heading to the parish of st john st john today yep up to the little town of victoria victoria yes so this is week number two yes or weekend number two i should say yep that we um are going to the same family in victoria so we are going today to assist in the demolition of a house that um, burned down, more or less. Yes. The family lost everything. Um, so we are going to assist so that they could rebuild. Um, Lenny will be joining us. Yep, we've got Lenny and Lim Our coming Our friend with us. and yep. sister in Christ, Lenny Lim. And yeah, so I'll take some pictures and, and hopefully the rain will, will hold up because right now in St. John, in St. George. George, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where it's, we live, yeah, we live in St. George. It, it's raining. So hopefully the rain will, will hold up so we could um, do as much work as possible. We'll be staying there approximately two hours or as much as, as, as um, time allows. Yep. Because we have to, we do have to drive back down. And um, we pray that we have a good day, that we bless persons, um, that people see the love of Christ in us. Yep, time to be the hands and feet of Jesus, not yep. just the mouthpiece all the time. Yep. So. so we have hammer and all those things in the back. Um, we're all set. We're ready and we're to going go. to work. Yes. <laughs> Bringing out the gun show. Yes. All right. Time to put some uh, some effort in. You yes. know, some physical physical, physical. sweat. Yes. Yes. Time Looking to, forward to it. Yes, and represent Christ well. Okay. So we will chat with you soon. Love you. See ya.
on the road. Wow, what an amazing day we just had. So we were able to get hands on, feet, boots on the ground um, with our very special friend, Lenny Lim, and the three of us going out there and just actually getting to serve and be the hands and feet of Jesus to this community up here in Victoria. You know, what, one of the things that was really cool is that when we got there, it had two gentlemen that was there. Um, yeah. And while we started, a whole group of persons came along. Yes, all kinds of family members, friends, all friends neighbors, just came along to uh, just love on, on their neighbor and love on their, their family and, um, you know, work a shovel, work a rake, pull yeah. some things down and, um, and pack and stack and pile everything. Yes. It was great. Yes, it was really great. Cliff said it reminded him about what he, he and the Smart Guns first team do. Yeah, yeah, it was so familiar. Um, you know, you just get a team of people, everybody kind of gets in where they fits in. And we just go and, uh, and just do, and it makes such quick work of it. I mean, many hands make short work. And it just really was amazing to see how fast and, and how clean and, uh, and ready for a rebuild that this house is now. Yes, you know, one of the things that I really like because, you know, when we go there, we go there, as Cliff said, to be the hands and feet of Christ, to show the love of Christ to someone who is a stranger because we never met this family before. No. You know, unfortunately, we meet them under the circumstances where they lose, lose everything. You know, all the earthly possessions, I should say, not everything, but the earthly possessions. And when the um, villagers and, the, and, the, and their friends and their family members come, you know, someone shouted, God is good. And everybody shouted all, all the, the time. time. And then somebody say, all the time, God is good. And, you know, you know, we just keep, you know, saying that. And that made my spirit so happy. You know, we was able to talk to a young man there, you know, um, um, about Christ. You know, I asked him, you know, do you have a Bible? Because we always work with extra Bible. And he said, yes, he, um, he does have a Bible. So I said, do you read it? And his response was no. So I asked him why. And, and he was like, well, he don't really have a reason why. So I asked him then why he have the Bible. And he said, well, he used it for protection. So I used the analogy about uh, um, someone who is poor and hungry and is going hungry and have a million dollars in the bank account, but not using it, right? I used that analogy of the Bible in the sense that if you have the Bible and you're not using it, you know, you're not allowing the Holy Spirit to work in you and through you, you know, that is... You know the way how the world would think that you use the bible as a protection but you're not but they don't have a relationship with christ you know you're not using the word you're not allowing the holy spirit um to change you by spending time and meditating on the word you know so i i was happy that we got that opportunity also to show the love of christ but also to talk to a young man about reading the bible and how important it is to read the bible and have that relationship with Christ and you know that's more important than any amount of physical work that we can do that is what we're truly out here for um, just to spread the word and the love of God and uh, you know to to show people what what Christ looks like how yes. he loves um, through our actions through our attitudes um, not just words but physically showing hey we're here to, to show you the love of Christ. Yeah. So, unfortunately, um, we will not be able to go to the family um, again this coming Saturday because we were told that they are starting to rebuild, you know, yep. what little material that they have, they're going to start, you know. And um, even though we will not be there, we will be sending our prayer, we'll be sending our love, and whenever we can, again, we will go back to send Ma. Yep. Um, in Victoria to assist this family. Absolutely. Just love on them well. Yeah, it was such, it was truly a blessing to be there and work with them and, you know, just to represent Christ. Absolutely. I, and I hope we did represent Christ well. I'm, I'm sure we did. I'm sure we did. And when we were leaving, they had cooked a big pot of food 
and they did give us food you know yes. um and that was their way of saying thank you and we uh, we accepted it and we appreciated it wholeheartedly Absolutely. because yep. you know that was what they were able to give us so it wasn't a one side thing you know we wasn't just doing for them they also give us something that was physical but just us being able to work with them that was so much more of you know touching our heart and a blessing that we could ever you know imagine amen so if you would like to assist this family because you know when you lose your home and a house fire you lose every single thing and even though we did carry some some items to them um you know they still have a long way to go in replacing their items you know the household items so if you would like to assist this family you know um financially or anyway possible please reach out to us please send um their, your your love your prayers um to them and before we wrap up this this um video we would like to send a special thank you to candy and isaac who when we put the word out that this family lost everything and you know the kids need to go to school they donated money you know in less than 24 hours we got enough money to buy their yes. school uniforms for the three kids and shoes yep not to mention some groceries as well yes yes so thank you guys very much we appreciate you we love you please continue following us and yes. supporting us in this journey called life god bless you have a wonderful wonderful week know that jesus loves you bye